what is a web application? Web application is nothing but an application which is installed on a single system and is getting access by all the systems which are in the network. So I can say any website is a web application. Now, uh, we have seen many Windows applications like uh, your MF Office is a Windows application. If I want to have access MF Office, if I want to have MF Office, I need to install MF Office on each and every system. And the major drawback is, for example, I have some updates in my application. What is that I need to do? I need to give a patch and run that update on each and every system. Now, if I see towards this web application, I need not to install the web application on each and every system. I need to install the web application on my web server. So that web server is nothing but my IIS Internet Information Services. So this is my web server. Web server is nothing but it is also a system. It is also a computer system on which I deploy, I install or I host my web application my web application. I post my web application. Now, all the systems which are in network with this system can access my web application. Now, to have or uh, to access my web application, I need not to install the same application on each and every system. So, the minimum requirement is I need to have internet browser. So, what is that I can do? I can install my application on the server and I can access it from all the systems which are in network with this server, from all the clients which are in network with this server. See, if at all I have got some update in my web application, I need not to go to each and every system and update it. I update it in the server and it gets reflected automatically on all the systems. So the best example is all the websites, with whatever you are accessing is a web application. How do I access it? How do I access it? So how do I access it? Say, you have been accessing uh, many web applications. So what is that you do? In your internet browser, you write something, HTTP, colon, slash, slash. So what is that called as? We call it as URL. Uniform Resource Locator What does a URL contain? URL contain a protocol IP address port number directory name and a file name which is optional which is optional. So the main things that the URL contain is a protocol, an IP address, a port number and a directory name. Now, what is a web application? Web application is, I can say that a web application is a set of web pages. So, what is that I am doing whenever I am writing something from google.com, I am trying to access a web page. To access a page on the network, I need to follow certain rules. So, rules are called as protocol. See that a page is getting transferred from server to the client. So, data get transferred from server to the client. Data is moving in the network. So, it follows certain standards, it follows certain rules. So, those rules are called as protocol. Now, if I want to access a web page, I need to follow the protocol. That protocol is nothing but your HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. This protocol is used to access a web page. If I want to access the folder, I use FTP file transfer protocol. If I want to send mails, I use SMTP simple mail transfer protocol, and so on. Now, for us, we will be accessing a web page with the help of HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. Now, I got uh, protocol, I want to access the web page. Now, from where, from where do I want to access my web page? 
from the web application. Web application is installed on a system. So how do I identify a system on which I have my web application? So how do I identify the system? I identify the system uniquely which is in the network with the help of IP address. So what is, what is IP address? IP address is nothing but it is a unique identity given to a system to identify in the network. Example, we can take uh, whenever a candidate joins in an organization, he will get an employee ID. So that employee ID is unique. So that ID is used to identify the candidate uniquely. In the same way, if I want to identify a system uniquely, which is in the network, I use IP address. You might have seen right? 192.168.1.1 something. So this is what the format we have IP address. Now, means what? I have reached, now this is my client, I am trying to access. I have said that okay, HTTP, I want to access a page and I have read this system. That means I want to access the page from this system. Now, on this system, not only IIS, there could be many other uh, programs running in it. Now, how do I identify that I want to access the application from IIS? So, I identify it with the help of port number. Now, Okay, I got protocol, I have reached the system. Now, in this system, I say that my web application is in this program. IIS is also a kind of program. Now, from this IIS, now IIS is a web server. So, I have my web application, the blue one. So, it is not a compulsory or not more that you know, a web server can have only one web application. It could have multiple web, web applications. The blue one, the blue two, the blue three. Now what I want? In this web server, my web application is W1. I want to access the W1. So how do I say that? With the help of directory name. With the help of directory name. So with the help of directory name, I have read till this application. Now this web application may contain n number of pages. P1, P2, P3, P4. Now what I want? I want to access this particular P2 page. I want to access this particular P2 page. So I give that with the help of file name. Now if I mix all together, how does my URL look? My URL look like this. HTTP colon slash slash IP address 192.168.1.1 colon my port number say something 1100 the port number of then my directory name directory name is w1 then the web page web page is my p1 say if i have developed using .net its extension is aspx so this is my complete url so using this i will be accessing my web page but what is that you have observed have you ever type this kind of addresses no what is that we do we write something www.yahoo.com www.gmail.com so why what are these things these are nothing but domain names see it's quite difficult for us to remember the ip addresses on which we have the applications so what we do we map this ip address with a name it's similar to your mobile number see you might be having a mobile and you cannot remember the mobile numbers of all your friends and relatives. What we do? We feed the mobile number mapping with a name. A name mapped with a mobile number. So what is that we do? We feed a name mapped with to a mobile number. In the same way, all these IP addresses are feed mapping to a name called as domain name. All these IP addresses are mapped to a certain domain name. Now, what is that we do? We do not write this thing. We do not write the IP address. What is that we do? We write www.xyz.com. Now, what happens whenever I write this? Anyway, I want to reach to this system. To reach to this system, I need to have that IP address. 
Do we have IP address here? No. IP address is present in this system, in this server. This is also a separate server. This is also a separate server. This server is called as DNS server. Domain name system server. So whenever I write a URL, whenever I write www.xyz.com, my request goes to the domain name server to find out the IP address of this domain name. See, uh, we dial a number, we dial the number. How do we dial the number? We search the name of our friend and we just say call. What happens? The name gets resolved into the contact number and that number gets dialed. In the same way, this domain name gets resolved into the IP address from the domain name server and it returns the IP address then with the help of this IP address again request goes to the server so what happens first of all whenever we type a URL it tries to resolve the domain name to the IP address if it does not find the domain name on this server it search it on some other server so unless and until it gets the IP address, it is not at all going to reach the server. So uh, for this uh, reason, you might have observed whenever you write a URL for the first time, it takes a little time. And in the second hit, what it does is it stores the IP address of this domain name in the cache or in the memory of the system of the client. So for the second hit, it is a little fast when we compare to the first hit. Why? Because in second hit, it is trying to search the IP address of this domain in the cache itself. It, if it found there, then it takes the IP address and makes the request to the server. So this is what so uh, what we do is we simply write www.gmail.com, www.google.com, www.macmail.com or something. So these are the things that happens behind the screen. So this is all about your web application and how we access a web page and what all the things happen behind the screen whenever we access a web page. Thank you.